this, this isn't a thing where we just didn't see when I hear the players and I love all the players. I love Cox and I love I love Cox and I love I love Cox and I love her. I love Cox and I love I love Cox and I love Well good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here and as always I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. We are in a active construction site. The painters are here painting these bookcases that are gonna make them look fantastic now before we get into everything the more things change the more they stay the same as far as the dallas cowboys go we got jerry jones of course always talking and telling us what he's going to do which does not work out the way we want we've heard all in but somehow we are broke ass and it's funny because on clarence thomas um somebody had tweeted toward him and said why did the cowboys not have any money and his reply was dak prescott's contract dak prescott is being made to be the fall guy for the dallas cowboys and i can guarantee you that if they don't get a deal worked out, the Jerry Jones will say, well, you know, we wanted to go all in, but Dak Prescott, he wanted the big bag of money and everything. And be that as it may, the way it goes, who knows? Um, we are on uncharted territory. It's kind of sad because when you start looking at some of the players that are out there, when you start talking about, you know, Brian Burns, when you start talking about Patrick Queen, when you start talking about Derrick Henry and Saquon Barkley, um, and looking around the NFC, you see opportunities. Now, we know what happens to teams that go to the Super Bowl. You know, as good as everybody thought the Eagles were and thought that they were going to repeat, well, they kind of crashed and burned the last half of the season. And, you know, unless the 49ers end up breaking that cycle, expect them to take a step or two back. They've got some issues of their own. They're also over the cap, not as much as we are, but they still are over the cap. So I don't know that they're going to be able to bring in as many players as they did. But then again, they may be more creative than Jerry Jones. So as we sit here, Dak Prescott is changing up quite a few things. And we have a brand new look from Dak Prescott. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, a brand new look from Dak Prescott. Let's go to the tape here. Look at this. Bam. Did away with the beard and is going with the straight goatee. And um, definitely looks more aerodynamic. And the look and that stare right there, that looks serious. That looks serious like, Jerry, I'm going to take all your money because you ain't spending it on guys to help me win a Super Bowl. And this is the thing that kind of becomes a question to me because if you're Dak Prescott, you have all the money you need. You're about to become a father uh, in things. You're living life. You are the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. The only thing, and I mean the only thing that's missing to making your career complete success is a Super Bowl. The question he should be asking Jerry Jones is, are you serious about winning a Super Bowl? And I'm asking that question myself because as I look at the Cowboys right now that have done nothing, they're still deciding on, they, are, they, they literally are saying, we haven't made a decision on Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup had an incredible sophomore season with 1,107 yards. It was great. Followed it up by 885. Followed it up with 445, got a new contract, followed it up with 434 and 422. $13 million a year. We've paid $26 million for Michael Gallup for the last two seasons, and we'll take a $13 million dead hit over the next two seasons. That's $39 million we paid for a receiver that, wait for it, less than 900 yards. And you haven't made a decision just yet. And herein lies the problem for the Cowboys of getting to a Super Bowl. When you say, you know, we want to get Dak's deal done, but it's not necessary to get it done. We can find other avenues. When you're still screwing the pooch with a contract like Michael Gallup's. When you keep telling us you believe in your own guys in free agency you overpay, you're not serious about winning a Super Bowl. And... Dak has to decide, am I okay with just taking the bag of money or do I want to finally get that ring? And this is one of those cases where it might be that 
I know as a contractor, and I guarantee the painter over here has done this as well. A lot of times you get a job where you're busy, you got plenty of work and stuff to do, and <clears throat> they say, well, I just want to get a price. I just want to get a price. And you look at the job, kind of like these bookcases that I'm looking at over here that are just cray-cray. Okay, I mean, they, these, they're, they're beautiful, but they got to be sanded and painted black. You look at a job like this and you say, I really don't want to do this thing. And so you put a number so high out there that basically the, the homeowner will say, oh, it's too much. I can't afford that. And that way you don't have to say no. Or they pay the crazy price, in which case you're going to make a killing off of it and you do it. And I'm betting that that's the situation we're going to have with Dak Prescott. That I'm not sure that he really wants to be. I, I don't know. I yeah, don't. I about that one. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if that's the case or not. But you have to start thinking, I don't have that many more years left. If I sign another contract that's three or four or five years, that's going to be the lion's share of my career. I doubt I might, you know, sometimes you don't know. And do you want to sign that knowing that this is what we're going to be, uh, a playoff team, and you get hated by everybody? Or do you want a chance to go to someplace that would truly be excited to have you and it is trying to get a Super Bowl? Now, I don't know. I don't have the answer for that. But that has to be part of the thought process as he goes into this contract negotiations. Now, Chris Canty, of course, true hater out there, I, I want to get his thoughts on this. See, I usually go to um, get up for their takes. But Chris Canty is a definite Dak Prescott and Dallas Cowboy hater. So let's hear what he's got to say this morning. This weekend, all the conversations around the NFL, that you are convinced the Cowboys and the and Dak Prescott do not work out a contract extension. Yeah, because I don't think that the Cowboys are convinced that Dak Prescott is a $60 million a year quarterback. And if you're Dak Prescott, why would you settle for anything less knowing the leverage that you have? You have a $59.5 million cap hit this year. You have a full no-trade clause, a full no-franchise tag clause. So why, why would you settle for less than $60 million a year and that being a high watermark, especially knowing – that the league salary cap jumped from what was it, 224 million to 255 million. Mm. Why? Why would you settle for less than 60 million dollars a year? You wouldn't. But if you're Jerry Jones, you have to ask yourself: Do I think Dak Prescott is a 60 million dollar a year quarterback? And Smalls, I don't know how you land on the answer to that being yes. Especially when you are a team that you say, if I'm the owner, is built to win a Super Bowl and has fallen short year after year, and he's the most important piece of that puzzle. So if I don't think he's the guy that can put it all together, I'm certainly not going to pay him that money. So you brought up the idea that Graz, Dan Graziano reported this weekend that basically they can convert $18 million of, or they could lower the cap hit by $18 million without his permission. He doesn't have to be involved in that. He being Dak Prescott, they can just do that. But unfortunately for them, that pushes out money and a $55 million cap hit in in what year, 2025, 2026? Yeah, the next season. So Which, not 2024, 2025. Yeah, you can't do that. You just can't. You can't have a $55 million dead cap hit for somebody that's not on your team. So I think they would have to then approach this season and go into it with that $60 million cap hit if they're not going to extend him. And he's basically a pending free agent at $60 million. Here's the question, though. If, and I believe when he asks out, I'm convinced he's going to have to ask out. They brought Mike McCarthy back, who I am a fan of, but most are not. They brought him back to pair with Dak Prescott. If Dak is not there, why is he there? Because now that opens a whole other can of worms. Well, it puts both of them on the same timeline, though. That, that's that's But the not point. if they get rid of him now. Well, what do you, what do you mean? If, if they, they get... trade Dak this offseason. But why, why would – I mean, if you're the Dallas Cowboys, you don't want to trade Dak. You want to go into 2024 running it back with your head coach and your quarterback – Mike McCarthy calling the plays. Dak had an all-pro season, arguably his best as a pro. I don't know that Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones are saying they want to trade him. What they want to do is create this kind of sense of urgency that they are with their head coach within their quarterback. If you want to be a $60 million a year quarterback plus, then go out there and c compete and win a championship. Go out there and win a Super Bowl. We'll, we'll pay you whatever you want if you, if you give us what we want. And that's the part that Dak has yet to deliver on. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pit it all on him, and I'm not going to also sit you, you here and say did. that I don't think Dak can win a championship because I believe he can. I just don't know that you're going to be able to win a championship when you're paying Dak Prescott $60 million a year. But how many $60 million a year quarterbacks are out there? Mahomes. 
Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and that's probably the list. Probably. That's it. Probably. So, I mean, if I'm, if I'm paying a guy $60 million a year, it makes it that much harder to fill out the roster and pay my other – talented players at premier positions. Like, I, if I'm paying Dak $60 million a year, I end up paying Michael Parsons, you know, making him the highest paid defensive player. To, you know, that'd be $35 million a year. Pay C.D. Lamb, highest paid wide receiver. That's going to be another $30 million a year. Okay. Like, at some point, you just start to run out of money. And so if you're Jerry Jones, you're saying, do I need to do this now? Or do I want to put the pressure on Dak in the same way that I'm applying pressure to Mike McCarthy? And I, I would lean toward that approach going into 2024 and see how it all shakes out. So as we said weeks ago, it feels like a last dance, but they haven't won anything yet. But it really does feel like because they are both on that timeline that they have this year to get it done or else it seems like both of them might be out of Dallas, right? Yeah, that's what it feels like. Now, here's the thing. If he goes out there and he has – you know, one of those seasons where he wins a championship in a contract year, i.e. <laughs> Joe Flacco in 2012 with the Baltimore Ravens, yeah, he's going to be the highest paid player in the sport. And sure. Jerry Jones would have no problem making him the highest paid player in the sport. And that's how you would lower that cap hit in 2025, by being able to resign him and paying him more than anybody else will. But I think under the circumstances, to, to do it now – could create more pain for you moving forward in terms of overall roster construction. It, it might satisfy this year in, in terms of making you feel better about the situation, but I don't know that it lends itself to putting Jerry Jones closer to a championship if they don't get it done in 2024. There is uh, a part of this that I look at and I say unfortunate timing for Dak because I believe the Atlanta Falcons would make him the highest paid player in the history of the sport if he was a free agent this offseason. Oh no doubt. I, I don't think. I mean, because if we're going to hear the rumors, and they wouldn't be the only. They wouldn't be the only teams Denver that would be would doing that. Yeah, Denver yeah. would definitely be yeah. definitely be doing it. And I think maybe some of the top three picks in the draft would reconsider the pick versus Dak. Jerry Jones at the combine this weekend addressed the extension for Dak Prescott. Uh, if uh, uh, everybody wants to uh, solve it, you can. And so, uh, the how is you get in and. Uh, get on the same page and see if you can uh, come to an agreement. If you can't, what we have in place works. And so obviously, uh, if you do it one way, then that gives you, uh, you'll be working through some of the other areas on the team in a different way. Uh, but you can't really plan on that until you uh, see where you are there. That's what we're doing. Is there fear that fear that this could be his last year? Do you have that fear? Fear at all that I don't fear. No, I don't fear. Don't that. fear it at all. Well, he doesn't fear it because he hasn't extended it, so he's accepted. I would assume the idea that if Dak Prescott's not there, they're comfortable with it. I think one of the most interesting parts of that piece of audio there is when Jerry Jones says, "What we have in place works." Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're cool in a last dance without a first dance scenario. Well, what they have in place is is I guess let me say it differently if they're willing to stay with what they have in place then that directly contradicts what Jerry Jones told us earlier this offseason which is that the Dallas Cowboys are going all in exactly. you're not going all in if you got your quarterback on a 59 and a half million dollar cap there you go you're not going you can't you can't you literally cannot. you can't yeah. You can't you can't add the pieces that you're gonna need to add this offseason like you're you're probably in a position where you're gonna have to let Tyron Smith an all pro left tackle walk like, that's he the word after the combine. Like, we're going to let him walk. We, we, we might not be able to bring him back. Like that That's what it's going to cost you. But when you start paying guys top of the market money at premier positions, you are forced to make some difficult choices, and that's one of them. That's so one of them. can your quarterback be the difference? Can he be good enough to offset the deficiencies by losing players like – Well, here lies the problem because looking at teams that don't have a quarterback – None of them are in the top tiers of the NFL. Let's just be clear about that. There's <coughs> excuse me. There's no teams out there without a quarterback that are in the Super Bowl conversation. So it all comes down to the Dak Prescott contract. You can't go all in with Dak Prescott at a $59 million hit. You just can't. And if you're Dak Prescott, you may start thinking about Maybe I need to go elsewhere to get a ring. I don't have the answer for it. 
But I know we are stuck in purgatory with the Cowboys. We're like a hamster wheel. We end up being trashed at the end of the year. They don't do anything to fix it. And then by training camp, we're a Super Bowl contender. And then by the end of the year, we fail in the playoffs. And boom, it's just like an endless cycle. The only way you get out of this endless cycle is by doing things differently. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I'll see you soon. Peace.